Well, if you can't tell from looking at me, I love cake. I mean, it is delicious. It's fluffy, it comes in beautiful decorations. I mean, who doesn't love a nice, delicious piece of cake? But, in a lot of ways, cakes are a lot like rocks and minerals. And in this video, we're going to explore rocks and minerals and how they relate to each other. So, specifically, we're going to do three things, and I want you to remember cake throughout the whole thing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a mineral and a rock. What exactly is a mineral and a rock? We're going to identify the three major characteristics of minerals and kind of come up with a test to determine whether you have a mineral or something else. And then finally, we're going to compare and contrast rocks and minerals and bring back our lovely, delicious cake. So what exactly is a mineral? Well, a mineral is considered a natural, non-living material that forms a crystal. Right? A natural, non-living material that forms a crystal. Sometimes, instead of non-living, they use the word inorganic. And we can come back to exactly what they mean. They're not talking about healthy and not using pesticides. So, a natural, non-living material that forms a crystal, and we can look at three different things that are going to make it and determine whether or not you have a mineral. First off, is it made by nature? If it's natural, the answer is yes, you could have a mineral. If it's made by man or made by something else, I mean, some machine, it is not a mineral. It's something else, and we can go and test. Two, is it from something living? So, is it from an animal? If it is, it's not a mineral. It's something else. Is it from a plant? It's not a mineral. It's something else. A great example of this, a lot of students seem to think that sugar is a mineral. It's good for us. Well, not really. You need sugar. You make sugar. But it's not a mineral because you make it. It's usually made in some plant. Salt, on the other hand, is a mineral, and it is actually made by the earth. And lastly, is it in the form of a crystal? Now, uh, crystals don't have to always look like you think. If the answer is yes, it's probably a mineral. If the answer to all three of these is it's a mineral. Because crystals don't always have to look like a perfect diamond or that piece of quartz you see. They don't always look like that. Because really, all a crystal is is a repeating pattern of atoms and molecules. So, a crystal could look like anything as long as it's repeating. Now, it's prettier to have the nice ones and uh, I think you'd have a hard time trying to put a piece of salt on a wedding ring. You might run into a little bit of a problem. But a crystal is just a repeating pattern. So is it made by a uh, living thing? If it's not, then it could be a mineral. Is it a crystal shape? If it is a crystal, then it could be a mineral. So then what exactly is a rock? If a mineral is this repeating shape that's a crystal and inorganic or made by nature and not from something living, what's a rock? Well, a rock is kind of like a cake. A rock is a mixture of minerals. So a rock is a mixture of one or two, diff or two or three different minerals put together. So let me give you a great example. A cake. You know, with a cake, you take a whole bunch of ingredients. You take flour and sugar and baking powder and baking sugar and vanilla and water and uh, butter and mm, a whole bunch of other things, maybe. And you put them all in a pot. You mix them all up. You heat them up in an oven, you let it cool, and out comes a delicious cake. Mm. Well, rocks are kind of like that. To get a rock, you take a bunch of minerals, a bunch of different crystals, you put them together and they get all mixed up. You put them in an oven, they get all warm and form bond to each other. You let them cool, and out of it comes a rock. It's kind of like a cake. It's just a mixture of minerals. And you know, just like a cake, each rock has a different type of recipe. Let me give you an example. Granite. You know, granite is a pretty common rock. In fact, most of the continents are made of granite, and you might have it in your kitchen right now. But granite has a very specific recipe of minerals. In order to get granite, you have to take some feldspar, you take quartz, mica, a rock, a mineral called pyroxene, and iron oxide, which is a fancy name to say rust. You put them all together, you mix them up, heat them up, let them cool, and out comes a granite. Now, if you change that recipe, if you took away the mica, you're not going to get a granite. If you take away quartz, it's a different rock. It's not granite. The same way with a cake. If you take away flour, 
It's not exactly a cake, it's something else. Because minerals are just the ingredients for rocks. Just like the ingredients for a cake are the ingredients for a cake. Here's another example. Sandstone, a sedimentary rock. Really, sandstone is quartz and feldspar. You mix them together, you heat them up and put them in little bits, and out comes a sandstone. So, let's go back what this video talked about. We defined what a mineral and a rock is. Uh, a mineral is a natural, non-living material, substance, that is from it forms by a crystal. And we looked at the three major tests. We said that it, one, has to be a natural made by the earth and not man. It has to be some, something not living, inorganic. And finally, it has to be a crystal. And we said crystals don't have to be anything fancy. They can just be a repeating pattern. And then we said a rock was a mixture of different minerals all put together. And we saw that by putting different recipes of minerals together, you can get different rocks. So let me remind you how this videos work. If you're missing something, you can feel free to hit pause or maybe go back and watch a section again. Maybe take a break and come back and watch the whole thing again. But always to remember, just keep moving forward.